Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the XNet or extended next function uh, that's available inside Allegro PCB Designer. So I'd need at least an Allegro PCB Designer license to be able to do this. You can see I've got this selected from the license picker. So if we look at our circuit, um, we've got a typical kind of example of a driver and a receiver. Um, and maybe what we need to do is um, we've got a termination resistor in between these. And we might need to calculate the distance from kind of point A to point B or driver to receiver. Um, almost like ignoring the resistor because when we netlist this we're going to get a, a point A so we're going to get an SDR 1A net which goes from the driver to pin 1 of the resistor and then we're going to get a separate net SDR 1 that goes from pin 2 of the resistor to the receiver. Um, now I might need to calculate something as a full length um, so inside PCB editor or in an Allegro PCB editor what I can do is I can use the, the, the setup SI design setup function to be able to control this. So I've got a list of what I can do here. I'm just going to turn everything off and just run this through components and XNets because what we need to do is assign a, a default SI model to a resistor. So we'll click on next. We'll get a list of all the nets in the design. I'm literally just going to pick the seven nets that I need. I can just pick one half of the nets. We'll then click next. Um, I don't need to worry about kind of the, the classes because the classes are already fine for resistors and ICs, but you obviously can, can move these around if, if required. Um, so here's my, my resistor models. I check the resistors and then what I want to do is just create a default model. This then applies effectively the default resistor based on the resistor value to the to the resistors. Click on next. Um, it's warning me that I've got an IC that I need to have got a model assigned to. We can assign that if we need to to do some proper signal explorer uh, analysis but I'm not going to do in this example. We'll click finish and then what happens now when we get a constraint manager is that I effectively get these nets called X nets that effectively just call SDR1, that is the, the XNet. And there is also an option, so if we go to Objects and Filter, um, there's a filter option to see the, the nets of the XNet, so we can hit Apply. Uh, and you can see that this expands out the two different net names, SDR1, SDR1A, as part of the XNet. Now if I had some, some signal integrity tools, I can select the net, right mouse button, SIG Explorer. I can pick, I mean in this example, I'm just going to pick the AllCAD PCB SI license, and then that would take this into signal explorer so there's my driver there's the resistor there's the receiver to the resistor but that's coming off the one single net